Electronic Attack Squadron 132 brings the EA-18G Growler on Marine Corps Air Station Iwakuni to provide jamming and surveillance to the region. We can fulfill multiple roles, uh, but our primary mission is that uh, electronic surveillance to be able to uh, detect a uh, surface-to-air threat uh, and then be able to jam that threat uh, for blue aircraft, for blue strikers. The versatile EA-18G Growler brings a unique set of skills to the Indo-Asia Pacific region. So for, uh, for us right now, we are a strategic platform that is uh, here in the Pacific uh, to perform a specific role. So we're basically the only ones that are here expeditionary uh, at the time. So uh, for both CTF-70 and COM, uh, COM-7 fleet, uh, we are here to uh, provide that electronic attack or electronic surveillance role uh, and also have the ability to uh, fight tonight. Being in an expeditionary unit means VAQ-132 has to be ready to go at a moment's notice. As an expeditionary growler unit, we do land-based deployments and we're able to do that anywhere in the world at uh, various air bases. One of the uh, important things that we do is work with Air Force, Marines, and our allies and integrate into a joint uh, warfighting scenario which helps our readiness. Expeditionary growler squadrons are a huge asset to the military because we can go anywhere, anytime, in a short notice, and integrate in and start war fighting. The Growler has a range of 1,275 miles clean and a combat radius of 390 miles. Reporting from Marine Corps Air Station Iwakuni, Japan, I'm Lance Corporal Calvin Hilt.